The clinic was closing, we were all cleaning up. I was in the lab counting how many patients we had seen. Um, the generator was turned off. Then we had this patient come in who had a, this gash on his, um, on his finger. He'd fallen and um, scraped his hand on the rock while chasing his bull. Um, it was really interesting to be able to hear his story translated from Creole. And it was, you know, okay, we have to stitch it up. We were, I mean, there was no light. So like, I took out my cell phone with a flashlight. Dave, our cameraman, he like came with his headlight of just like two of us with lights, making sure that Omen, who's making the first stitch, can see. I mean, I, I wasn't panicking, but still I was like s just so focused on this wound. We gotta stitch it up, like. Sitting in that position and stitching is like, it's tiring. So this way we kind of switched around. And so just the way that the whole team worked was like, in a cliche way, like a beautiful thing. I think the real big aims that I've noticed for the trip is this uh, idea of sustainability, um, not to sugarcoat it, um, and having worked abroad, I think there's, um, there's this element of international health that arguably you can say um, can be harmful. There's a need though, uh, and so you're kind of caught in this middle ground. Being originally from Haiti, um, really felt compelled to intervene and take action after the earthquake. Um, and we continue to work since then. And the incredible thing about incorporating the students in our work is that when we take them there, they're passionate, they're enthusiastic, altruistic, and they are ready for anything.